So the Pal World YouTube channel, or Pocket Pair rather, put out a brand new video, which will be linked below, called How to Raise the Strongest Pals. And we're going to be reacting to it. I have not seen this video just yet. And um, I, I want to see how I can get strong in Pal World. Now, my buddy Barry Bandit actually told me about this. And apparently, there's some really interesting stuff in here. So we're going to be reacting. So what do we got here? We got our boys. Pal World is home to a large number of different pals. From cool pals to cute little pals. There are over 100 known species of pals throughout the world. Today, let's explore over 100. how to I'm raise curious. some of these I'm pals. I'm curious what the uh, exact number is. No matter how much you shower your pal with love, it will never actually become stronger. It sure does look happy, though. It okay, so affection does not affect um, its strength. Okay, interesting. We also got some uh, of the UI here as well. Even if it might look strong, if its level is low, it'll be taken out in an instant by weaker pals. So, how does it become stronger? Pals level up and become stronger by defeating other pals. For example, Makes here sense. we can see Anubis defeating the pal. And when it does, it levels up. Okay. Anubis is level. So, so I'm get so the pal has to get the final blow. I'm guessing. Like, I'm kind of curious. What if it contributes to combat? Like, let's say I'm battling with my Anubis, right? And um, I get the final blow, but Anubis did most of the damage. Will Anubis still get the XP, or does it have to get that final blow? Sort of like uh, when you get gold in League of Legends for killing uh, like the little minions, right? You have to get the last hit. Otherwise, you don't get the gold. I wonder if it's similar here. Level has risen from 5 to 6, and it learned a new skill, Forceful Charge. In this way, as the level increases, pals learn new skills. Now, let's level up one more time. I want to go back for a second. Time. Look at the... Hold on. Look, look at all this information. Suitable work. So, there's different work that different pals can do kindling planting handiwork so so obviously he's got he's bipedal so he can do some uh some handiwork i'm guessing is like helping to build houses and stuff uh mining transports that's pretty interesting uh also it has uh full sanity so you know that's a thing um attack defense and then work speed interesting now let's level up one more time One more time. Yeah, it looks like he's What's that? last shotting. That's, an That's a fusion. Unusual looking pal. In pal world, some pal have different attributes from normal species. They are not very common, and it doesn't always mean they are very strong. In addition to learning. Okay, if you guys remember the second pal world trailer, that is a fusion monster. It was the fusion of that pal that kind of looks like Raichu. And the one on the left you see now. So does that mean wild fu like like sort of like Monster Crown, right? Monster Crown had rogue fusions. Does that mean that we're gonna have like these wild fusions? Not very common, and it doesn't always mean they are very strong. In addition to learning skills by leveling up, we can also teach skills to our pals by using skill fruit, which we can okay. find throughout the world. Here's one here. Simply grab the skill fruit, open your inventory. And teach it to a pal you'd like to. Okay, so if you're lucky enough to find a skill that it can learn, I'm guessing. This looks like a, basically like a TM. In this way, we can teach some new interesting skills to our pals that they might not learn by leveling up. Pals also have partner skills unique to their species. For example, the pairing I'm currently riding has a buff that turns all my attacks into fire attacks. Oh, like a trait. There are also equipment type pals. Some of these heal the player. And others allow you to use the firearms while riding them. Oh, there's a lucky pal. Those are very rare and very strong. In addition to skills, we can yeah. They they talked about lucky pals in a in, in one of their videos, uh, basically or in one of their articles. I, I forget what it was. It was an interview. It was an interview. Um, lucky pals are essentially like. Uh, stronger versions, I think, that get more XP or something like that. And, and what do they got going on here? Look, 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 look at all these Anubises. And also harvest the souls of pals to then enhance certain stats, further increasing pals' strength. 
Oh, okay. So you get okay. there. So it's candy. I think that's well, what Barry was saying. It's like basically kind of like Pokemon Go candy, but you allocate them to specific stats by using the uh, the things you get for throwing them out. Pals together to try creating new unique pals that are even stronger than before. In this way, pals training is pretty deep. Yeah. Adventuring throughout the world, breeding. training, and perfecting the ultimate pals. Yeah, sorry. When I said a, a rogue fusion, like I, I meant a rogue crossbreed. They don't actually fuse, they crossbreed. You guys know what I mean. This is what Power World is all about. We hope you will have a lot of fun Wumpa. raising your pals in Power World. Goodbye. So yeah, a lot of interesting information there. Uh, so we have the leveling up makes sense, right? It looks like they got a last hit it, like from everything I've okay. seen here. If his level is low, it'll be taken out in an instant. It looks like he last Anubis hit. Level. He gets level the Anubis to, to last hit everything. Oh, one more See? time. What's that? That's uh, it also looks like we're going to have wild crossbreeding. Relaxosaurus Lux. Is the Lux from that little Raichu looking guy? You see the Chris Hansen in the friggin' in the thing. Yeah, I like to watch Chris Hansen in Cinnamon Toast Ken. Anyway, um, yeah, is that the... Um, is Lux referring to the other thing it, it fused or, sorry, was crossbred with? Tributes from normal species. They're not very common, and it doesn't always mean they're very strong. Interesting. And then we have these, like, sort of TMs, basically. So, uh, use a skill fruit. So, does it say what kind of skill fruit, though? Simply grab the skill So, he grabbed it. It, d it doesn't say... Skill fruit. Open your email. Okay, okay. Who would you like to use it for? Inventory. And teach it to a pal. So, does it just learn a random move, or does a skill fruit... It, are there like is this a destruction beam skill fruit or does a skill fruit give the pal a random move from some sort of hidden skill fruit list right like maybe th there are certain uh moves that are allocated to skill fruit only and these skill fruits will give him a random one of those moves or this is a specific skill fruit for destruction beam, meaning that other pals won't be able to eat it they, they, they don't really show that off here i would like to it is interesting, though. In this way, though. we can teach some new interesting skills to our pals that they might not learn. I do think it's the latter way, though. Like, maybe any pal could eat it, and it'll give a uh, one of them from that, like, that list or Fire whatever. Attacks. There are also equipment-type pals. And he mentioned, like, I guess these are, like, example, traits. The pairing I'm currently riding has a buff that turns all my attacks it's a buff. into fire attacks. Okay. There are also equipment-type pals. Some of these heal the player. And others allow you to use the firearms while riding them. Oh, there's a lucky pal. Those are very rare and very strong. I hope they do a In new video. I, I hope their next video is about the lucky pals. And then, yeah, th this makes sense. Pals to be converted into essence. We can also harvest the souls of pals to then enhance certain stats, further increasing pals' strength. Pretty cool. We can also make pals together to try creating new unique pals that are even stronger than before. In this way, pals training is... So I wonder if crossbreed is going to be like Dragon Quest Monsters where it's basically always stronger if it's a crossbreed versus a, a base form or not. But that's pretty much it for the video, guys. Um, honestly, pretty interesting stuff. I'm excited to dive into Pal World. Like, I think this is going to be a really fun game. And I'm excited to check it out in January. So stay tuned if you are excited for this game because I will be providing the... Most coverage, probably, because I, I just dive into these monster taming games like like it's no one else's business. So I'm going to be going crazy. Um, if you want guides, breakdowns, review, uh, tons of fun videos and stuff like that. If Pal World has custom servers, which I think they said it will, if it does, I can imagine just the amount of content. Also, don't mind the squeaky chair. I can imagine the amount of content I could make. Like, this Pal World server does this. This Pal World server does that. Like, we could have a ton of cool videos. So, I'm excited for it. Uh, I hope you are too. And, uh, yeah, I'll see you next time. Peace.